Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another Albion Online video. This video is part of a series where I'm going to be clearing different tiers of solo dungeon maps to see if they're worth your time to clear. So today we're going to be clearing 10 T7.3 maps and hopefully we'll turn a nice profit as there's a huge bonus loot chance in these dungeons. I do know that for this to be super accurate I will have to clear like thousands of these maps but uh, we really don't have time for that right now so we're just going to be clearing 10 and going from the stats and the results I get from that. So I'm going to be doing these in the Avalonian roads as my guild has a home zone up here so it's super safe for me to do them up here. You can also do these dungeons in the black zone for the same loot chance and I'd recommend waiting for the 90 seconds after you enter the dungeon as it's really not worth getting ganked when you're wearing this kind of high tier gear like I am here in the 8.3. Okay so as always I'm using my favourite solo dungeon clearing build which is the bolt casters with the mage cow. We got the Druid Robe, the Assassin Shoes, and of course the Thetford Cape. I also do take poisons to speed up the killing of the bosses, and I use omelettes for food to speed up the clearing time by having my abilities readily available more frequently. So I did have some really nice chests in these dungeons that gave me amazing loot, but that being said, I also had 2 out of the 10 dungeons only make me like 50,000 silver each, which is a huge loss for those maps. But uh, the other maps did make up for those losses, but also I wouldn't say it was quite worth it compared to the other maps we've tried here on the channel. So if you haven't seen the other videos in this series, we did 7.0, 7.1 and 7.2 maps. But uh, if you haven't seen them, I'll pop them in the description below. And if you're interested in knowing how they went, you can check that out as well. So overall, the T7.3 maps were good fun to clear and I had no trouble with any of the mobs as I am in my 8.3 set. I would say that you should go at T8 minimum, but ideally 8.1 would be nice for the for a good clear speed. Yeah, you want to speed through this as fast as you can. The silver from the loot wasn't amazing, but we were still able to profit just about. But uh, the main good thing about these maps is the fame that you're going to be getting from them. So I wasn't setting out to talk about fame in this series at all, because we were just interested in the silver. But however, the silver was not amazing, so I had to have a little look and see if there were any other perks of doing this. And I, I did expect to gain quite a bit of fame and realised that we gained 2 to 3 million fame from these 10 maps that I did, which is amazing fame per hour if you're speedrunning them. So I'd say it probably worked out about 1 to 1.5 and a half million fame per hour uh, if you're doing 5 maps per hour that is, which is definitely doable in a high tier set. And for solo content I'd say that's pretty good going where you can just chill, listen to Spotify, you know, watch Netflix on the other screen and make a lot of fame at the same time. So here we are with the exact loot and silver that we made from the 10 T7.3 dungeons. Overall we made a total of 4.11 million from the chests and 839k from silver bags. So if we take away the cost of the maps that leaves us with a total profit of 709,000 silver. I'm going to add on 10,000 silver from each dungeon because of the mobs, so that takes us to 809k overall profit, which works out at a massive 80.9k per map. As you know, that isn't very good at all for silver, but like I said, the fame was amazing, and you can get very lucky in these dungeons. I do believe over the long run, you're going to be making money doing these, as you just have to hit big a few times over the course of clearing, say, 100 maps and then you've made a lovely chunk of silver, not to mention the amazing amount of fame you're going to make doing a hundred of these. That being said, I do think that the T7.1s might be the best run for your money. They're not too expensive, you can clear them very fast, and the loot can be amazing when you get lucky, and you will get lucky, you know, if you're going to smash out hundreds of these maps, you're going to get lucky eventually. Thank you so much guys for watching, if you did enjoy the video please do consider subscribing and leaving a like. Thanks again and have a great night.